Hey, what's up? It's Spence here from Impact Chapel and Impact Ministries Hawaii. Happy New Year! That's right, we're rolling into a brand new year. 2017 is just a day away. It's New Year's Eve. That means it's time for resolutions. And what's yours going to be? Now, the majority of resolutions that I can find on the internet are fitness-based. People want to... People want to stay fit and stay healthy. People want to lose weight, enjoy life to the fullest, do more active things with their kids. Now, fitness is going to take a lot of discipline. That's going to be some gym time. That's going to be money spent on a gym membership, some equipment, fitness clothes, food, vitamins, supplements, and not to mention some serious discipline with your diet plan. But check it out. Paul writes in Timothy, the training of the body has limited benefit, but godliness is beneficial in every way since it holds the promise for the present life and also for the life to come. So what's the impact? You can spend your entire life getting physically fit, living a long, healthy lifestyle, uh, doing yoga every day, and completely miss the mark. That physical fitness, while beneficial, means nothing next to spiritual fitness. My challenge to you this year is to make your New Year's resolution getting spiritually fit. Spend some of that time, energy, and focus that you would on physical fitness on your spiritual fitness. Let the Word of God make its impact on you as you make your impact, or God's impact, on your community, on the people around you, on the places that you serve. Something as simple as one or two verses a day could have a long-lasting positive impact on not just your life, but the lives around you.